Hello and welcome to GBF V News. My name is Maureen Farrell and with me today is Upper Marion Township Manager Ron Wagaman and we'll be discussing the township's involvement with GBF um, over the last 20 years. Thank you for coming today Ron. You're welcome. Ron, I understand that you're one of the founders of GBF and I just wanted to know how did you get involved in that? Well, got involved uh, back in the mid 80s uh, and actually was in a, in a conversation with one of my, a couple of my board of supervisor members, uh, Hunter Robinson and Ralph Fulpe, uh, were on the board and we had been moving some of our highway projects ahead and so on, uh, but uh, I had become aware of some other areas where they had developed TMAs and the idea being is, is that we weren't going to be able to build our way out of the, of the problem that we had to look at other alternatives, other forms of transportation or modes of transportation, but also uh, look at techniques to, to maximize, um, you know, the, the return we were getting on the investments we mm -hmm. had made to make them as efficient, as effective as we could. Also, the fact that uh, we couldn't do it alone, that mm -hmm. uh, you were going to have to forge partnerships in the future uh, in order to be successful and to, to have major projects move forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. And then why does Upper Marion Township continue to partner with GVF being now in existence for 20 years? So, Well, we continue again uh, for those very same reasons mm -hmm. that we were in favor of the creation of uh, the Transportation Management Association that uh, those partnerships are critical mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not only the partnerships with the other communities around you but partnerships that you need to develop with the agencies, whether it's the Fire Federal Highway uh, Transportation Administration or whether it's uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation or SEPTA mm -hmm. uh, that are out there. Uh, you know, we need uh, to go as a group to create enough mass that uh, we're somebody that, that they want to listen to and they would like to work with because mm -hmm. they're dealing with a greater area of population. Okay, that's great. What would you say is one of GBF's greatest achievements or accomplishments, whether if you were involved in it, um, that you've seen in our 20 years? I think the greatest accomplishments have been, again, uh, the stakeholders groups that we've been uh, put together, uh, the memorandums of understandings that we've had to work out, as you know, on some of the major issues such as the river crossings project mm -hmm. uh, and so on, uh, where it took bringing all the parties together and forging the effort to first resolve the difficulties and the conflicts that have developed around that project and then once overcoming that moving it forward and of course the other thing was is in working with us to get the grants and so on that we've been successful at uh, like the, the Senator Santorum earmark the earmarks that we've been able to get from Representative Weldon and, and Representative Sustak and uh, the TMA you know worked to help lead the charge on those. And the major projects that have been moving ahead, such as the 202 uh, project, uh, Section 400 was done in Upper Marion, mm -hmm. and the, uh, as we're doing now, the River Crossings Complex. Well, great. Okay. Well, thank you from GBF for continuing to partner with us and for sharing your experience in your 20 years of involvement with us. And thank you for watching this edition of GBF V News. And we look forward to seeing you next time.